The drone can take off from the cruising warships for patrol and reconnaissance missions and this drone can even land and float on water in an emergency. Dubbed Pelican 2, which is a sophisticated long-range drone equipped with four motors for vertical movement and a powerful propeller for horizontal movement. The Pelican 2 UAV was unveiled in the presence of Major General Abdul Rahim Massavi, Chief Commander of the Army, and Admiral Hossein Kanzadi, the then Commander of the Navy, on November 30, 2019, at the Exhibition of Defense Achievements of the Navy of the Islamic Republic Army. Pelican 2 has features that, based on these features, the name of this drone has been adapted for it. Before the start of operation of Pelican 2 UAV, all up-to-date and necessary to control and technical inspection field tests were conducted on this bird, and after obtaining the standard result, it entered the field of operation. The Navy has employed Pelican 2 on naval fleets in international waters. General Bakari said that the deterrence power of the Iranian Navy brings stability and security to the Persian Gulf, Strait of Hormuz, and Sea of Oman. Undoubtedly, the power of the Iranian Navy at the international waters in fact, is the fruit of the will of all personnel of the Navy, General Bakari said. The UAV has been built in line with the mission and precise surveillance of the environment, surface ships, and in special cases, a platform to target enemies' ships design and built by specialists of Navy of the Islamic Republic and has the ability to penetrate in-depth and conduct special patrols and reconnaissance in a desirable way. In the first major drone exercise of the Army, this drone flew in the southern waters of the country. Pelican 2 UAV, as a military system and unmanned aerial vehicle, has performed well in order to carry out military missions in regions and areas where it is not possible to use manned aircraft. The structure and specifications of Pelican 2 UAV are designed and manufactured in such a way that it can meet most of the mission needs in specific situations in a desirable and satisfactory manner. The flight and landing structure of this new UAV of Iran's armed forces is such that it can take off from most vessels with naval missiles of the army and carry out reconnaissance operations and assist in launching missiles within a range of 100 kilometers, which helps with such an initiative, Navy missile power will be louder and more accurate than before. Obviously, observing the target for a few moments and, of course, sending its information to the central unit is enough for Pelican 2 UAV to fulfill its mission, and in addition to increasing the range of missile systems in the field of naval artillery, it completely improves the accuracy of Navy's ships. The acquisition of UAVs by the Iranian Navy indicates the concept the Navy is currently consolidating with regard to naval warfare. The new concept includes not just surface vessels and submarines and engagements close to the shore, but also the extensive employment of UAVs flying at considerable distances from the shore and from their parent vessels. These UAVs help assemble a maritime target picture and transmit their data in real time through a communication channel of the parent vessel and to the shore. This capability is highly significant for the Iranian Navy, as it provides it, on the one hand, with command and control of the maritime target picture within extended ranges and in real time, while on the other hand enabling it to employ the modern weapon systems it has acquired recently, like the Gatter and Cater anti-ship missiles to ranges of 300 and 500 kilometers. The surveillance systems fitted to the UAVs enabled the Iranian naval vessels to assemble a maritime status picture extending far beyond the horizon, thereby taking advantage of the maximum range of their anti-ship missiles. This capability, like other capabilities, indicates the change in the Iranian strategic concept, which currently regards the Iranian Navy as a strategic arm, assigned to operate at long distances from the shore, making it possible to deal with the U.S. threat far away from the Iranian shore, as well as to operate in such remote areas as the Red Sea and, in the future, possibly the Mediterranean as well.
Aircraft construction includes not only the toll configuration, but also fixed wing landing gear. It provides the versatility to autonomously take off and landing in both toll configuration and by using a runway, HTOL. With this layout, the system becomes fully autonomous in both configurations. Multiple layouts and transition flight modes are tested by the project development team, reaching the best configuration for desired performance with different available configurations and missions. Semi-automatic flight modes have also been configured enabling semi-automatic flight modes, in which some system variables are autonomously controlled from the autopilot, while others are manually controlled from the command console. Invention participates in this project as Control System Electronics Supplier, being the aircraft design and management in charge of Dronatic. In the Navy, on the other hand, surface vessels have difficulty performing reconnaissance missions and observing their targets due to the geographical conditions of the environment and the area under their observation, as well as the principle of sphericality of the Earth. To solve this problem, the use of naval-based or ship-based drones has been common in some big navies for several years. Small drones with not very high speeds have repeatedly shown in recent years that they can penetrate radar and defense networks, provide the necessary images, or even carry out attacks. The Strategic Navy of the Islamic Republic of Iran, in order to meet their needs in the field of maritime reconnaissance has used sea-based UAV Pelican 2. By using the Pelican 2 UAV in the country's defense and military industry, in addition to improving the range of missile systems, it is possible to increase the accuracy of targeting bullets from ships and vessels in naval artillery fire. The irreplaceable performance of Pelican 2 UAV in performing automatic operations and in unusual conditions where drones are not able to carry out missions and also the lack of need for extensive and costly facilities and infrastructure for operation has led the military to use it to carry out its assigned missions in warships and remote waters under its operational control.